Hi, Mike Planker here. Today we are going to make a bench out of nothing but solid log. Here we have a beautiful log we're going to cut up. It's got some rot in the middle, which is going to make some really nice character. And first we got to go over all the tools and ingredients we need to work up this bench. First we're going to square cut both ends off. We're gonna try to stand this up. Stop bolting! Gotta call for reinforcements. Let's round up our help. Mike, here I come! Where are you? I'm here! I'm gonna need a better footing. Okay. Now before I get to cutting it, I like to take a look at the log and see where the best place to cut it is. Sometimes logs are more round, sometimes they're more oval. In this case, you want to cut it in the longest length possible to get the most back support and maybe show the most amount of character of the tree. So we're going to look around it. This area will be really nice to leave for our top. So what I'll try to do is cut it right like this. to make my next cut. I like to make sure that my chain isn't stretched out too much. That's actually doing really good. So, ready to make our next slice. Looks beautiful actually. It's gonna make a nice log. It looks like I wasn't able to cut it through all the way. I do have a longer bar for this chainsaw, but I didn't pack it along with me today. So I'm just gonna zip this side of the log and we'll be done with this part of it. Yeah. Let's see how this looks. Nice. Hey, we're here today looking for a log. We're on a we're on a stump hunt. I don't mind using a log like that. But since we have a red oak block, I'm trying to look for a red oak stump or red oak base to go with it. That might be one right there. So we're hunting for the red oak stump. Ooh. Okay, beautiful. Yeah, I think this will do. And you, we found our prey. Now all we have to do is butcher it up and bring it to the chair. I marked our log here with pencil approximately where I want all of our grooves to be and that is what's going to hold everything together. Hey 
The next cut I like to make, I like to take a V out of the bottom. Therefore, it forces the bench to sit on the front and the back, preventing any possibility of it rocking. <laughs> And there's our grooves that are going to lock the logs together. All right, one thing I like to do is this. Whenever it gets wedged. Oh, you lift it with your legs? Yep. Smart. And not my back. A little bit snug in here. This side we got plenty of length. If anything, looks like maybe we're a little tight over here. But you can see from the front side that we're pinched over here and we're pinched over here. So this side could get cut a little more shallow and this side could be trimmed off on the side a bit. All right, now that we know what to do, usually the logs wedge themselves. So once again, I like to sit in the log and lift it up this way. Get unwedged a little bit. I think that'll do it. Sweet. We can leave the bench the way it is, but this time around, I think I'm going to sand it and make it nice and smooth. I like to lock this blade over here, wedge it between my legs, and take it off. Replace it with the sanding blade. We're good to go. Oh, that's nice. Oh, like a glove. Oh yeah. Oh that's nice. That is a good chair. Ta da! Alright, let's bring it in the house, warm it up and get some poly on it. Hello there, Mr. Artist. What are you doing? Well, I feel like an artist, for this is my easel. And I am an artist. And I'm recording. Oh. Well, here we are. We brought our logs inside. For it was so cold out there, we decided to let them warm up and dry out for a day. We went ahead and coated the rest of them. I'm going to finish coating the bark. And we'll show you what these pieces look like tomorrow. So here we are today, putting our second coat of polyurethane on the bench. I got the top end, because what I'm going to do now I'm going to flip this log over. What that lets me do is I can get it all at one time. As you can see, 
It looks really nice going on. It brings out the grain, it coats it, protects it from the elements, because a lot of our customers are going to be putting these outside. It's going to freeze, it's going to rain, it's going to seal it, and look how beautiful it starts to look. You can see the knots in the wood, you can see the different colors, it really makes it look beautiful. And I can't wait to show you what it's going to look like outside. Good. Well, there you have it. It's stout, it's sturdy, it's sealed for all the elements outside. Someone could put it in a garden, they could put it in their front yard, they could put it in their front porch. It's a piece of artwork. You need absolutely no hardware to lock it in. It locks itself in by these grooves I make in the legs.